Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey, and today we're following up on a September 25th interview done with H2O Innovation. Trades as HEO on the Venture Exchange. Frederick Dugray, welcome back. Good to be back, Peter. Now, when we talked in Feb on uh, September 25th, you set out some pretty audacious goals for Q1. I expressed a little skepticism about whether you'd hit them. It's litigation lawyer in me. I can't help it. So, one of the things you told us was that you predicted a 13% growth in year-over-year -year revenue. So, in Q1, how are we doing? Well, we started the year very strong, strongly with uh, showing revenue growth from previous year at 24% growth. So now we reached 35 million of your revenues for the Q1. All right, so we'll tick that. Good way to start the year. We'll tick that one off then as a yes. Uh, Check. 85% of your revenue was recurring, and you mentioned that you're hoping to strengthen that, provide more stability to your cash flow and predictability. How did you do? That's still our main focus. So for this quarter, we get 90% of our revenues that are now recurring by nature. So it was a little bit more uh, heavy on, on specialty products and O&M, uh, but still remain for the coming quarters definitely above 80% plus. All right, that's another tick for the yes box then. Uh, you said Q1 would see the project business bounce back. How did that go? Yeah, we had good bookings on Q1. We had $18 million of new bookings on Q1. So we are replenishing the backlog for project very nicely. Uh, this obviously will influence positively the course of their year. So we still have three quarters to go. So I think this year we'll have a good year on the project. Now, I'm looking at page seven of your MDA that you uh, put out last week, or yesterday, I think. It uh, shows a consolidated backlog of $125 million. Is that 18 in addition to or part of that? It's part of that. Okay. Yes. And we also talked last time about uh, some targeted M&A opportunities. Anything happening yeah. there? So we have a, a great pipeline of, of uh, tuckings that we're going after. I mean, our focus is to go after two types of, uh, of M&A acquisitions, uh, either on specialty products or operation and maintenance. So right now we're working on a couple of things, and hopefully it's going to develop in the course of the year. So when I look at page seven of your MDA, your revenues are up, recurring revenues are up, both as an absolute number and a percentage. Your backlog is up, growth profit margins up. As you like, it, it's almost a dream scenario as you go through the MDNA. Why are all of these good things happening at this time? Well, I mean, there's a couple of things. I mean, we 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 continue to focus on improving margins. So there's things that we're doing internally to keep tweaking and improving and gaining on margins. Um, our business model more and more is proving that. Yes, we are a reliable business. We are resilient through the COVID-19 pandemic that is going longer than expected because we have strong recurring revenues and, and we keep executing. I mean, we, we, we focus on executing and delivering revenues. And, and now this translated into even bottom line, net earnings, second quarter in a row. And it's not just you saying that. It's not just your MDNA saying that. Your competitors are saying that because you've been nominated for Water Company of the Year. Yeah. Well, this was this was such an honor. I mean, I created H2O 20 years ago and 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 to be here and receive 20 years after this huge award is is a big team victory. Obviously, it's a huge industry recognition. It's like it's like being named, you know, best movie picture of the year at the at the Oscar. You know, I mean, you couldn't ask for more. Who awards this? Like, take this the right way. Is this a real award? Or is it an industry it is, lobby? It is thing? absolutely a real award. I mean, it's uh, it's conducted by the GWI agency, so Global Water Water Intelligence Agency, uh, based in UK. So what they do is that they collect intelligence data that they provide to governments, that they provide to agencies, that they provide to environmental, you know, uh, uh, and the politics and 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 companies like ours. So we establish you no know, market study uh, out of their numbers. Uh, they're totally independent. Um, and they conduct every year uh, awards for, for best desalination plants, best company, best water, wastewater. And now we won the best and the largest category, which is water company of the year. And we were against pretty big competitors out there in this category. There was four other competitors. That's pretty impressive. I was very impressed, too. I was ecstatic. Now, they were all ecstatic. Oh, and by the way, I wore this shirt today in honor of you. 
because I bought it at, in La Belle Province the last time I was in Montreal. I Fantastic. know I know it's just down the road a little. It's not exactly where you are, but it's still mm -hmm. for you. Good stuff. Um, what are we expecting Q2 then? Well, we're going to continue on the same on the same direction. I mean, we still focus on on delivering these specialty products. Um, uh, now the maple season is is kicking in um, as anticipated. I mean, one of our division is pretty busy now with uh, manufacturing and delivering uh, maple equipment for uh, for this part of the business. So this will be impacting nicely Q2 and Q3. Um, project, as I said, now that we have booked new projects, is going to to impact positively the second and third and fourth quarter. Um, so yeah, we're just going to cruise along, execute, uh, be opportunistic with tuck-ins, and and keep generating more cash. Nice. So you know we're going to be doing this again in three months, right? I know it's coming so fast. <laughs> One quarter of the other, it's unbelievable. You guys should be yeah. really proud of yourselves, though. You're a great Canadian success story. Well, thank you. Uh, we're very proud, indeed. I mean, it took 20 years, but here we are. You're like a rock and roll band, an overnight success, 10 years in the making. That's it. That's it. Exactly. You, have, you have yourself a wonderful day, Frederick. H2O Innovations trading as HEO on the Venture Exchange. I'm Peter Clausey. Goodbye from Investor Intel.